Hello, Burners and Tedsters. Um, all week I've been trying to write a, a speech about why participatory culture is so important for society. Um, and last night I was sitting on a glowing uh, Mayan pyramid looking out at the divine madness that is Burning Man. And right about the time that a, two art cars showed up, uh, a dust buster and a blue meanie, um, I realize there's just really no way to explain this to people that have never been. Um, participatory culture is uh, meant to be participated in, and that is what anybody who is interested should do. So what I'm going to do here is tell you our story, uh, how we've been inspired and what we're doing in New York, and how people should then copy us and, and invent stuff themselves and then bring it to the world and help this movement progress. Uh, as Vero said, I'm Jim Glazer. Uh, most people in this world know me as Costume Jim. Uh, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm the founder of Costume Cult. Uh, it's about 10 years old. We have been uh, costuming the naked since 2002. And right now, at a dome about 300 feet that away, we've got about a a ton of costumes that are, are, are going on to people's backs. And if you guys are under fashioned, please go over there either today or tomorrow. Uh, I'm also the founder of Action Arts League, the nonprofit behind the Figment Festival, which is now in four cities and growing around the country. And uh, New York Times called it Burning Man East when it started, but now it's its own thing. It's really kind of a Burning Man, but for urban environments, and uh, that's another way people can get involved. Uh, in addition, my background is uh, as an executive recruiter and a human resources executive, and I've been really dedicated in my life now to bringing people together for this movement, which uh, all of us here know is so important, uh, especially in a world where, quite frankly, there's just so much lameness. <laughs> We are one of the answers. We could be. Um, but I did not get my, uh, my start uh, in all of this from Burning Man. I, I got it in the uh, New York City Halloween Parade. And just a, a show of hands, uh, how many people have been to that? Well, the Halloween Parade is bigger than Burning Man. It's huge. It's you know, hundreds of thousands of people. And you know, 1987, my first time there, was my first time really putting on a costume as an adult. And, um, you know, I met so many amazing people. And I fell in love with costuming. When, you know, when you're kind of quirky, kind of shy person, a costume really helps you come out of your, uh, come out of your skin. And uh, over the years, uh, we've gotten more and more involved in the Halloween parade, after parties, and all of that. And uh, at a certain point around, uh, 2000, uh, I decided that you know, we needed to come together to try and make it Halloween year-round. So over the past decade, we've uh, started doing more and more. And now, in fact, we do have, on a monthly basis, something going on. And it is Halloween year-round. Uh, or, better word, it is participatory culture for all of us that are living it. So, I'm just going to try and do a quick rundown of all the things we're doing in New York. And the idea here is not about us. The idea is that we've learned some of these things from other people. Um, the Cacophony Society is a huge part of where I come from. Um, you know, it's a big part of this event. If you guys don't know about it, check out their website. It's hilarious. Um, and in January, we take part in, a, in, a, in the Idiotorod, which the Cacophony Society originally uh, had created in San Francisco. Uh, the Idiotorod is something like the Alaskan Iditarod, um, except instead of dogs and sleds, it's costumed humans and shopping carts um, you know, in the winter, dead of winter, flying from bar to bar in New York and creating a complete mayhem. And, uh, I highly recommend it. 
anywhere that you live, anywhere that you can acquire shopping carts, you can have an Idiotorat. In February, we started another event called the Alt Oscars, where we decided that celebrity culture isn't what we are about. Um, it's participatory culture. So we're going to have our own Oscar party where we are the celebrities. And we have the red carpet. You know, a lot of people do this sort of thing. And the idea uh, for us is we have a red carpet, we have interviews, and uh, one of our genius friends suggested that we spray paint Statue of Liberty's gold, put disco balls on them, and award Alti Awards. So that's huge, and it makes a statement about um, celebrity culture versus participatory culture. In March, uh, we tried to march in the, in the St. Patrick's Day Parade, a bunch of amazingly costumed people, but we were told that there were no costumes in the parade by the ancient order of Hibernians, the same people that won't let gay people march in the parade under their own banner. So we decided that that was an opportunity. So every year now, we protest the St. Patrick's Day Parade as leprechauns against boring parades. <laughs> where they give us our own protest corral um, to stand there with ridiculous signs. Moving right along in April and May, we're in Burning Man fundraising season. We do two big costume balls, the horn ball and the black and light ball with our brothers and sisters in Disorient. Um, fabulous events. Obviously, everybody should uh, do more costume balls more of the time. In June, we have a huge, huge month. Uh, of course, Figment in New York is in June. It's a three-day festival. Uh, it's just, it's very similar to here in that we make a lot of stuff. Uh, Costume Cult uh, reserves its kids' costumes for Figment. And, you know, it's just come to New York, go to Governor's Island. It's really a magical place. Uh, and then in addition, there's the Mermaid Parade, which is also... Yeah, it's Halloween in, in, in June, it, but with a lot less clothes. And it's just one of the most sp spectacular, most absurd things that goes on in, in, in uh, New York, in Coney Island in specific. And then, of course, is the Gay Pride Parade, which uh, has just a few costumes involved uh, in between all the skin. July is our freak show event, uh, our, a circus theme party. There's a lot of circus theme parties. Please have your own and do absurd stuff. And of course, here we are, I think in August, still August, uh, at the burn. September is re-entry, and then October, of course it's Halloween, but we also do a very big zombie walk. And uh, the word is zombie con is, uh, is what we named our New York one. Um, and unlike a lot of the zombie walks around the country, and there's tons of them now, uh, we always put a, a political or a social statement because we are in the media capital of the world and we are trying to make a difference. And um, last year, or yeah, last year, we marched 400 zombies over to Fox News headquarters to make a statement about the Tea Party movement and the idiocy of the way the media is covering all of this. It went pretty well, uh, but when we tried to uh, burn the Don't Tread On Me flag, um, uh, oddly enough, it, it didn't catch fire. Go figure. <laughs> uh, in November, we rest, and then in December is SantaCon. SantaCon uh, is, in, is in 60, 60 cities, and um, you should all have one. It's absurd. It's genius. And wrapping up, um, the last thing I want to say is just how wonderful all the people are that come out to these things. This is really the most important point. Um, look around you. Before I found any of this, I'd have like one good conversation a quarter. And now I can't remember all the good conversations. It's just truly spectacular, wonderful, kind, and sexy people, one after the other after the other. That's really what we're doing with all of these things. We're pulling people together. And as just an example, for the, the TED cameras, 
I just want to bring out some of our spectacular people from Costume Cult and beyond. Please come over the stage. And thank you, everybody. We truly love you all. MC Christopher, Xenia, Bright Light, Kara. Keep coming, beautiful people. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yay. <laughs> Everybody, it's all about you too. Everybody take a bow, yes. Harder. <laughs> Come on.